So I'm going to try to make this um, not as hodgepodge as I recorded it, but this is basically going to cover someone that has, you know, a Cayenne, a Toreg, or a Q7, and you have a fault that looks like this where it says uh, no basic settings, deviation from expected range, that could also uh, probably be fixed through this process. Um, and I'm going to say if you have these faults, the first thing you're going to want to do is skip, look at the timestamps and look up uh, or click on the timestamp that says uh, ROST or VCDS uh, air gap calibration or adaptation. That's what you're going to want to try first. How I got myself in to make this mess even worse is I tried doing a basic settings calibration through ODIS, um, which reset the calibration completely and it ended up sending me back even further. Uh, these faults that you can see here, I know I'm kind of all the place, are from when I purchased the car a year ago. Um, it had a no basic settings found for the uh, parking brake. The parking brake worked as expected. I never had a fault, or not, I'm sorry, I had a fault, but I never had a light. I never had a beep. I never had an error show up uh, having anything to do with the parking brake. Um, not sure how I didn't get a fault that or a, a light for it because um later on you know yesterday uh i had got an odis cable and i tried running the basic settings uh, as we'll see it later on in the video and it eventually fails but the issue is is when i first started going through the process of doing the adaptation i'd realized that i would have to make the adjustments um on the parking brakes or on the road or behind the rotors themselves uh i thought i'd just be able to run it and it would just work that was not pretty goofy of me, but this is already getting long. I need to talk more quickly because I've got other stuff to cover, but um, it ended up resetting the calibration and it would just constantly beep. It would beep, 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 beep. Uh, and it would just flash on the uh, instrument cluster with the, the parking brake and then like parking brake error. Anytime I'd come to a stop, it would flash. So uh, my first thing would be to try to do the adaptations in VCDS, like I said, and then uh, not many people have ODI, 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 or Otis. I'm going to say ODIS like the whole video, but Otis, I guess. Not very many people have it. Uh, this might not be the right thing to do, but this is what worked for me. This is probably the goofiest way you can do it, but like like I talked about early on in the video, there's there's not many um, much Toreg uh maintenance information out there so this is just gonna be you know maybe there's a this helps one person i'm gonna be happy with that because i was in a situation i was like am i seriously gonna have to make an appointment at the dealer and and i honestly made the appointment because i was fussing around with this not all day but for a little bit and you know i'm not familiar with otis so i thought you know i royally messed something up but this is a hole we can dig out of and i'm I'm going to walk you through some steps and hopefully this helps a few people out. Like I said, so, uh, and I also do apologize about the portrait mode video. I meant to film it in landscape, but I, I didn't take the time. It was kind of in a rush, which is stupid, but, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned. I do set the, uh, air gap on a Volkswagen Touareg Q7 or Porsche Cayenne. You're going to remove the wheel. Um, remove wheel spaces if you have them and then remove this uh torx bit right here rotate it so that it's about three quarters or like a quarter from the middle of the brake caliper so it lines up just about there it's gonna be really hard to see but inside there there's actually a gear um and in odis you'll be able to see the values hold on you can see the values there uh, in this case, I'm doing the right one. Um, so I, since the value is greater than the range, I'm going to have to, um, one moment, take it from the right side of the gear. And so basically, yeah, so spin the gear to the left. And then you're just gonna run that test again. That's the air gap test in ODIS. Um, and you're just gonna keep spinning it until they are both, um, both within spec. So I rotated that gear 
uh, to the right and you can now see that it turns blue when it's within the proper range. So now I'm gonna take the, the left wheel off and uh, adjust that uh, air gap as well. And then those should both line up and then I'll be able to reapply the basic settings. <clears throat> so once you adjust both of them, you'll get blue checks on each and then you'll ready to, you're ready to um, set the basic I just settings. realized that I didn't uh, really film a part between the section that I'm at, but uh, so basically what had happened was I made it through the majority of the process of applying the basic settings in ODIS. After the step that we just did, you can see that uh, I set the air, air gap properly. That test completes. I'm not sure, I don't think that's shown, but that test completed. The next step, as you, you'll, you'll see, is setting the basic settings. I go through that and it ends up getting to a point where we have to do the bedding procedure, which is where you drive while the parking brake's engaged and it's a bedding process. At the end of that process, which completed properly, I drove the 200, me 200 meters or whatever uh, to do the, the bedding process, which, like I said, is not shown, but it's not super important because Otis gives you the step-by-step. -step. But once that was completed, it actually ended up failing um, and saying, like, aborted. Uh, that's when I was getting the big issue with the constant beeping and, and stuff like that because... This is the air gap uh, calibration within basic settings. Uh, hold on. Basic settings, air gap calibration. Um, we're going to see the faults and you're going to notice the... Um, that's fine. That was just because it was being cycled a lot. Um, and then the no basic settings. So I should be able to clear this. Since I, that air gap calibration ran, should be able to clear that turn the car off <clears throat> back on and let's see so far so good let's see when i put it in drive that's when the eat the brake fault uh i'm shocked that's me cycling it on and off so it was just accumulation of running that basic settings test in ODIS, uh, letting it fail because I was able to give it some sort of configuration. I'm, I'm honestly, and I'm not familiar with ODIS. That's my, that's my biggest thing is it made it through a few steps. So it was writing something to something um, because it, it did end up making the beeping stop and then just running that air gap uh, calibration test in... And VCS was good. Uh